Quran say that Alexander the Great went to where the sun sets? No, it doesn't. Show me which verse, which chapter yes. says that. Because even the name Alexander the Great is not there. I think you're talking about Surah Al-Kahf, which talks about Dhul Qarnain. I want you to read the actual passage. Until he reached the setting point yeah. of the sun. Who is he? So, wait a minute. You're the one making the claim. You have no idea about whom he's talking about. You have no idea about the context. And you think you found a contradiction. Claim is unfounded. Where does the sun set? The sun set rises in the east, sets in the west. The sun doesn't set in Do you not understand the sun sets in the west? If you go to the newspaper today, Look at the sunset time. The, the sun, <laughs> no, Alexander. It goes to the setting point of the sun. There's no points where the sun sets. Okay, ask Siri, when the Actually, sun? there is points. There is there, there is, there is no point but it's not literal in the sense no that we're saying. But we still say sunset. That is what? That is a figure of speech. Exactly. Of speech. So what you read is a figure of speech. Thank you very so, much. Quran is a figure of speech. In that case, yeah, it's a figure of speech. Oh, and it is actually from the, the perspective of Zulkarnain. So he's saying, I saw the sunset in the muddy water. It's like a poet, poet, poet who says, there's a lake which is shining like a mirror. It's a figure of speech. It's like that. So it's not a contradiction. Next.